from the home of the Spirit Quartz book now took South Africa. These are really not photogenic. Um, let's say winter sunshine uh, Spirit Quartz. Uh, Almost a, a, a Dijon mustard color, a, a sort of an off yellowish to orange in color. Now what happens, what's interesting about these, first of all we have the typical shape of the spirit quartz, which would be the central quartz crystal surrounded by the smaller ones. Then we have two generational growth of the, the uh, hematite. You'll see the, the first layer of, of hematite which came across the quartz, the yellow, yellow to, to mustard color or orangey color, would have uh, oxidized and turned into girthite, formerly known as limonite. Then a second generation of hematite crystal, crystallized over the, the, uh, the first generation of the uh, um, uh, hematite which of course is sitting on a on a on a bed of quartz absolutely natural so these are not uh, um, uh, what do they call them auras etc these are absolutely natural by mother nature uh, mother nature's auras let's put it that way we there are enough beautiful natural stones out there we don't have to do synthetics all the way from South Africa, from the home of the spirit quartz, from the Ampumalanga region in South Africa, formerly known as the Eastern Transvaal.